no reef keepers, fish lovers, members of the channel, subscribers. Just to um, just a little update, really, um, how I acclimatise uh, coral and stuff. I just do it the simplistic way. If you've obviously got a more um, you know, a bigger system, you might want to do it more, you know, with a drip acclimatisation where you've got like a roller on your hose and you can just adjust it and leave it going for 45 minutes. But I just get a coffee, um, put my, uh, empty most of the water out of the bag that the corals came in or fish, so there's just a smaller amount in, so it doesn't overflow your tank. Um, and then I just use a pipette, the water from my tank. And then I just squirt it in the bag, you know, and I do that, you know, I've got my phone, got on YouTube while I'm doing it, you know, why I'm here, sat here, enjoying myself, looking at the, looking at the fish, um, etc. And do that for about, over a period of half an hour, 45 minutes, and then I'm, you know, why I'm doing that. Um, Pull a little bit of water in the bags every five, ten minutes, something like that, and the temperature, the temperatures, you know, stabilising. Uh, I look in my tank and then I start thinking where I'm going to put them, place them, that sort of stuff. So a bit of a chill out time. I love times like this. A bit of a chill out time. Go to the LFS. You get a couple of bits and bobs. I've got an Alveopora. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Green and purple polyps. That's going to pop. I think I'm going to put that down. Ooh, those are good bits. I think I'm going to put it down there, actually. I don't need much light. I've got to get my snips in a minute and snip that uh, plug off so it sits flat. Um, I've had a coral bleach, uh, and I think that's because my light's there, and I went back to the AB+, um, and it must have not liked it, so it's... Totally receded and bleached. It bleached from the ends, tips in over a period of three days. So I'm pretty sure it was a change in my light schedule. First time it's happened to me, to be fair. Other things have actually improved, but it must have just been the shock. So I suppose the moral of the story is acclimatised. But I got that for free anyway. LFS gave it me a little piece and just thrown it in. Uh, that's improving. The polyps now are like improving a lot. That's better since I've done the light. And also, um, the hammers have improved. And also, what the reason why I did it was the uh, zoas. So hopefully, everything's going great. And oh no, yeah, uh, no, that's not Alveopora. That's uh, Cyphastria. Sorry, Cyphastria. And then that's the alveopora. It's obviously uh, shrunk. It will be. It grows a little bit like that, but more like flower heads like that. And I'm going to pop that. I think ooh, I might put it here in this corner here. Um, yeah, because there's much movement there, so I'll put it there. I don't think it. Um, it's big on huge amounts of light in the LFS. It was quite low, probably about the same depth and light distance from there to there. Um, so yeah, I think I'll put that there so it had a bit of movement and it will give it a bit of space. And then the encrusting Cyphastria, I think I'll put it. I don't need much light. I've got another Cyphastria there as well. Look, the meteor, which is settling in beautiful. Look. That's going lovely at the back there, the uh, bright green GSP. And as people know, if you mess with your tank, it don't like it. Look, look at the, uh, now I've took the lid off and started messing. The Kenya tree. Kenya tree's going mad. It's absolutely sprouting up everywhere. Look, there, down there, there in the middle of the zoas. It was all up there and I've had to, I've actually pulled it off, look where it was there. Because we're blocking out light there. I'm going to leave it and just keep pulling it out. So yeah, it's just enjoying myself. Acclimation. There you go. Another squirt of water in there. And then I'll have another squirt of water in that one. Um, I started doing this about... 
Three time flies, it was 20 past three, it's now 20 to four, so already I've been doing this for a good 30 minutes. So it won't be long now. The fish are doing well, settled in. The damson, the springer's damsel. Look at the colours on them. Don't do them justice, they're actually darker than that. They've settled in amazing. Clowns are doing awesome. Just that bugger in the middle, which is a bit of a shame. But it just shows that that's almost right under the light, look. So it's going to get the hit into it. So, yeah, so it's a lesson learned. Be careful with stuff right under the light. Okay, I'll drop more, some more water in there. There we go. Well, yeah, that's how I do that. Happy days. Went to the local LFS today. Had an open day at Wharf Aquatics. Great day. Um, some nice bits and bobs there, some suppliers there, some, um, the, oh, just one bit of news that I found out. This has a drop down, the Vivid, you can get a drop down adapter, so you haven't got to cut an hole in it, which is useful. That's it for today, hope you have a great weekend, I'll do another update soon, whether it be my pond, um, reef keeping, garden, bonsai, you name it, I'm into all sorts. Hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe. I hope that's been of some benefit. If you don't accl you know, acclimate them, if you put them straight in, then you can risk killing them because of the difference in the water parameters. Um, I do take a risk. I don't dip mine in reviver, um, reviver anything. I trust my LFS. I know I shouldn't do, but I haven't had no problem so far. The plugs are very, very clean looking. Uh, their stock doesn't remain in their tanks for ever and an end. They're turning it over quite quickly. Um, so yeah, I've had no problems at all. I go to the same LFS now. It's all I'm gonna. It's all I'm gonna trust. I've got the same light schedule as them now. So yeah, I've had no problems so far. That's I'm gonna never have a problem. But um, you know, there we go. Have a great weekend. Please subscribe. Please put a thumbs up and a like. Thank you. Bye.